Hi, I'm Chris. I'm an educator here at Kids Quest, and I have an activity here today called chromatography. And what you need for this is you need coffee filters, you need some kind of markers, you need a popsicle stick or two, a binder clip, and some water and a glass. What we're going to be doing is I take the coffee filters and I cut them into small strips. And I take it and I can take and put some dots of markers. And I like to use black markers because black markers I find are some of the most interesting because different black markers will act differently in this experiment. So I put on some dots of marker just above the bottom of the paper. You don't want it to be too close to the bottom because when we're gonna put it in the water, you wanna make sure the dot doesn't hit the water. So you take that and I'm gonna use two pieces of popsicle stick to hold it together and I'm gonna put my binder clip on top and then comes the glass of water and what I can do is take it and set it in the glass of water and I want to have just the bottom tip of that touch the water and pretty quickly you'll be able to see the water flowing up through the paper and as we let it go it'll pull the ink along with it So after letting it sit for a bit, you can see that the two patterns that we got were very different using two different black pens. We can do this with almost any color pen and we'll divide it out based into, on the colors that the company used to make the pen, which can be done for almost any age range. For slightly older kids, maybe six and up, you can make it a challenge using de detective work. So I have a mystery spot here that was left by a black marker at the scene of a crime. And we have three suspects that all had black markers in their pocket, but they're slightly different black markers. You can give this challenge to say, who done it? By testing the black markers using chromatography, a very similar process that is actually used in CSI all the time. In this experiment, your child was learning important science process skills. They were learning about observations by watching how things change. They were repeating tests multiple times by using multiple different colors. And they were doing problem solving when we gave them the challenge of doing a whodunit style mystery. 